away hey a delivery you might have seen this on uh, one of my other videos oh yes that pipe roni oh yes that pipe roni be making me spend money again this time i bought a pico Expo explorer base which was sold out when i tried to buy my pico and my pico display but uh now new ones arrived <laughs> Over engineered knife and inability to see. <laughs> That'll do. All right, how lovely. Wow, that screen is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I mean, the Pico display screen that I've been doing videos of is about the size of a Pico. So, hmm, much bigger, but I think it's only black and white. So uh, I'm going to use my other Pico that I bought. Um, you might notice on this one, I have You might notice on this one I've put a little button on there this should help me when I'm flashing new firmware onto it an idea from Ben Heck in fact why don't you watch me set it up Ben Heck setting up his uh, Pi Pico we did a video the other day where we put a little reset switch in so that you don't have to unplug this and plug it back in again to reflash the Raspberry Pi So on this one, which I'm going to use for my new Pico Explorer base, I'm going to put that switch in as well because I might be using C on it or I might be using something else on it, I don't know yet. But um, yeah, so I think it was such a good idea to do that. I'm going to try and set this up. He used uh, the ground in the middle, that debug pin, and then he used the run pin, which is this one there. So I'm just going to connect the switch up to that. Reset switch. Welcome back. All right, so let's pop my new Pi, my newly set up Pi in my new Pico Explorer base. Now, I don't think this is going to do anything. I'm going to turn it on and, oh yeah, two little feet come with it as well. Lovely little feet to go there. <laughs> Look at that little feet and that's where the feet go there's little feet so let's put some power into it plugging it in there and see whether anything happens well the backlights come on on that sort of hoping the piazza might have gone off when i plugged it in but nothing happening but Obviously, we've got to put the software on that and then we'll see what happens. So I'm going to flash this and then probably I'm going to be right back. OK, so that's the Pico Explorer flashed with the most recent UF2 file. Here's the Explorer demo. It looks like a reasonably rounded demo. So I've just got that from the um, GitHub. Let's try and run it. All right. OK, so so this is good. Um, it's a colour screen. I didn't think that was a colour screen. So actually, that 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 screen's pretty pretty big actually compared to the Pico display. Yeah, it's twice as big, isn't it? I don't know whether the resolution's the same. So that's good. That's excellent. Now it says a uh, plug a jumper wire from ground to audio to hear noise. Now I'd 
plug a jumper wire. No, it's not ground. It's GPI zero, which is that one. Plug GPI zero to audio. Let's try that. Get that bit closer to the microphone. Not a fantastic sound, but <laughs> interesting. Uh, interesting sound there. All right, but that's only coming from that little piazza speaker. So what do you expect, really? I don't want the noise. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and uh, uh, install my bubble pop on it. Um, it should be as simple as just running it. I've got it loaded there. Let's see what happens. That's strange. Does the, the button still work? Actually, looking at it, the, it's got the A, B, A, B, X, Y buttons. It's just in a different orientation, as is the screen. So, oh, there, the reset still works. So A should fire. Oh yeah, but it's coming off. It's 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 strange that outside of the screen's still there because I suppose how this works is that I've only Oh no, I know what it is. On the my bubble pop I'm doing Pico display. Ah, Pico Explorer. So that's Pico Explorer. So let's go back here and change that to Pico Explorer and try and run that. Hey, yeah, because uh, the width and the height it gets from the display. So obviously Pico Explorer must already have the width and the height of the screen. So hopefully that will, yeah. So <laughs> how easy is it to port a game from Pico Display to Pico Di Explorer? It should be quite easy. Let's grab my UFO. Whoops, stop this computer and I should have my UFO. From there. So if I change UFO to Pico Explorer, run that. There are all my aliens. <laughs> and if I open, let's open that, which is I think is probably my nicest looking game at the moment, and change that to Pico. Explorer run. Yeah, might make the game a bit harder actually. Whoosh. That's nice. So, if you want to make it a bigger screen, you can see it's slowing down a bit now. Obviously, more pixels to process, but uh, still got to sort out how to display that bird. So, anyway, that's my Pico Explorer. Not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I might do a Mandelbrot program on this, which is something I've been playing with. It'll be even better because it's in colour. But uh, as you see, it's easy if I've done something on this or this, depending on which one you've got. It's going to be quite easy just to run my code on both, depending on what mood. You're in or I'm in.